Welcome back to City Line. As you saw on the wide shot, I have somebody new on the comfy couch and new in the sense of in the studio, but certainly not new when it comes to Tacoma. I'm talking about the marketing manager of the Grand Cinema, and I'm talking about Ernest Jasmine. Hello, my dear. Hi. Uh, thanks. We're meeting in person. Yeah, we're, we're back live. Can you believe face. it? Yes, and I want to say thank you for all your Zoom appearances while we were Zooming from my kitchen. Um, feels a little different to be back on the comfy couch, doesn't it? Yeah, we're in a HD. Yeah, we are, absolutely. So the Grand Cinema, I just told you I went down there and bought some popcorn for my lunch. I was having a bad day, and I thought, I need Grand Cinema popcorn. So I walked in and bought this big thing for lunch. And it made me think about some of the great summertime things that the Grand Cinema is known for. Um, Celebrating diversity through independent films. You are always highlighting LGBTQ experiences and and stories and a partnership with Tacoma Pride because we just, of course, had Marshall. He warmed the couch for right, you right. there. Um, tell us about the two films that you've selected for this year's Pride since it's right around the corner, July 1st. Well, it is actually more than two films. Uh, oh! As, as Marshall mentioned earlier, uh, we... Um, you know, we team up with the, the Rainbow Center. They help us curate uh, the films we choose in honor of Pride. And one of those films is uh, one of our outdoor films. Yes. Uh, uh, we're going to show uh, to Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmar. Yes. I always have to pause, make sure I said that right. That's kind of a mouthful. It, it is a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. And then we all go, Patrick Swayze. Right. And there he is. <laughs> Wesley Snipes. You got Wesley John Leguizamo Snipes. back yes. with kind of a fresh face. Absolutely. Uh, it's kind of a silly buddy road comedy with uh, those guys in, uh, as drag performers uh, oh, wow. getting into shenanigans. Uh, so that's one of the things we're doing for Pride. Uh, the other thing is we rebrand our uh, cult film series, which is normally called Weird Elephant. Mm -hmm. uh, for the month of July, we call that um, uh, Queer Elephant. Yes. And so for that, we have a handful of films. We've got um, Jennifer's Body. Uh, oh, starring uh, Megan one. Fox, Amanda Seyfried's in it. Mm -hmm. uh, that one kind of had mixed reviews when it first came out. I liked it, mm -hmm. but people are kind of seeing it in a different light a few years later. It's kind of turned into this classic. We've all classic. changed and we're yeah. different now, yes. Yeah, there's lots of fun subtext that makes oh, it fit. I love that. Um, the next night uh, on uh, the 16th, uh, we're showing um, a camp classic from the 60s, uh, Whatever Happened to Baby Jane with Joan Crawford, um, but, uh, Betty Davis. Betty Davis. Yeah. Betty Davis. Um, so that's a classic. You have to come out and see that. And then the other thing uh, that I'm really excited about is a newer film. Uh, you might remember a guy called Saul Williams uh, from the late 90s. He was in a movie called Slam back when Slam Poetry was all the yes. rage. Uh, he has a band that he, you might have seen him at Bummer Shoot. Well, he's co-directing this film called Neptune Frost, which is a, catch this, it's a Rwandan sci-fi musical you know there's tons of those oh my uh, my bollywood head just went da, 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 da. yes yeah, yeah, it's very unique very unique uh one of the things that critics are homing in on about this film is that the main character is non-binary and and that character is the leader of this hacker collective uh that's trying to save the world in our dystopian future okay, so uh, you can come and see that it's uh probably like nothing you've seen before oh i like that so you're also kicking off your second annual outdoor movie series for the right. summer of 2022. And first off, let's have great weather for that. Moderate Keep weather, our fingers not too hot. And then tell us what we can expect. Well, we're uh, really excited. Uh, this is probably the biggest thing we're doing this summer. It's, uh, uh, we're doing it bigger and better for the second year. Yes. Um, basically how it works is we have this giant 30 foot inflatable screen uh, we're able to buy that last year. We got a grant from uh, 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 Tacoma Arts. Yeah. And uh, so, uh, uh, yes. And uh, and so we basically we haul that thing around to different parks, and we take what we do out into the community. We show free movies. Um, we have we're doing seven of them this year. Uh, three of them are scheduled already. Okay. Uh, we have uh, we're going to start out with a film called Boy. Okay. which is this great coming-of-age comedy from New Zealand. Uh, you might recognize the director, Taika Waititi. Oh, uh, I love him. This is before he was making truckloads of money. Yes. Oh, films, he's like the one talent. coming up. And um, so that's the first one. We're starting out with that at the uh, Asia Pacific Cultural Center. 
Uh, we're going to follow it up with, um, oh, oh, as mentioned, you know, Wong Fu. We're showing yes. that one okay. at People's Park. And uh, the third one that we, we have scheduled is um, is uh, is actually, um, I'm having a, a brain freeze here. It's okay. It'll come to you. <laughs> uh, we're actually showing Selena. See, there we go. For a mosaic festival. Uh, okay. It's got Jennifer Lopez as yes. the, uh, Tejano pop star. Um, it has, there's elements of tragedy in this film, if you know the real story yeah, that happened. There is. But we picked it because Mosaic Fest is all about music so and uh, different cultures, and, and you see like great performances and, and great music. Yeah. And Ernest, tell them what Mosaic used to be called so we know what festival you're talking about. Oh, that was Ethnic Fest. There we go, yes. And that's so a right part. Yes, okay, and right this part. year we have a new name, which is Mosaic for right, it. Right. We'll have them on the show, but I thought people need to know that, hey, we've changed the name, still the same great event. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about uh, the cost, because I can just hear parents going, okay, I'm going to have to pack a picnic. It might be too expensive. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can go, maybe we can't. What is the cost to attend the outdoor movie series? Well, that's one of the best things. It's, it's absolutely free. Okay. Um, uh, so it's a free night of entertainment. You can bring the family. You can spend zero dollars if you want. That's right. Uh, and what you bring beyond that is up to you. You can bring your own popcorn. Mm -hmm. You can bring your own food on a picnic, mm -hmm. you know, blanket. Actually, you don't need to bring your own popcorn. You don't. Uh, this year we're, we're doing the free movies and we're bringing popcorn. Uh, you just want to bring maybe a camping chair, oh my a blanket. Gosh. Okay. Uh, sodas if you want, just there whatever to be comfortable. and. We provide the rest. You know, I think to have a complete happy life, you have to have the Grand Cinema popcorn at least once a week. There's magic in that popcorn. It is unbelievable. And speaking of magic, you're planning an event around a film called Cosplay Universe. And first off, if people don't know what cosplay is, tell them what it is, and then tell us about the film. Well, this is a documentary, and it highlights the trend of cosplay, which is, um, you know, kind of nerd culture has gone mainstream. It is. Years. So it's about these people who like to dress up like their favorite characters, usually superheroes, cosplay. video oh, game characters, sci-fi characters. Uh, so you have these influencers on Instagram where they've got tens of thousands of followers because they're showing their Iron Man costume they built in their garage. Um, and one of the fun things about this is, of course, we got to do a costume contest. We're going to we're lining up some really cool prizes. Um, and actually, we have a first. We have lots of speakers. We do post film discussions at the Grand. Okay. And we found this couple that owns a shop here in town called Super Suits. Okay. Specialize in the kind of people who do cosplay. Yes. And they have promised they're going to show up dressed up in costume. So it'll be our first Q&A with superheroes at the Grand. Oh, my gosh. That is incredible. Yeah, cosplay is um, everywhere now. Um, and and for, I'm sure there are many parents who know about cosplay. Um, and there are people as old as me that do cosplay. So, because you're not that age yet. Um, so I love that. Um, in these last few minutes, I want to talk about the Cat Video Fest. Because... I love cats, mm -hmm. and this sounds like just something so fabulous. So, so give us kind of the 411 here. Well, it is exactly what you think. It's a compilation of the year's best silly cat videos. You know, it's <laughs> everyone's favorite thing to watch online. TikTok. Right, exactly. Um, you don't have to worry if it's guilty pleasure. Oh, the geez. distributor, actually, everywhere they show this film, they donate a part of proceeds to animal welfare efforts. Yeah. So we asked them to give some money to uh, Northwest Spain New Year's Year. Very nice. And aside from that, you, it's, a, it's a good family event. You can bring the kids, watch uh, silly cats cause a mayhem. And uh, it's a good time, unless maybe you're a dog person. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Uh, but well, I'll tell you what, the, the advent of cat videos is, you guys are so smart to put your finger on the pulse of that. because. Once you discover cat videos, then you discover people who love cat videos, and they're everywhere right now. So um, for a complete rundown of all of this, we're going to ask people to go to the website, aren't we? Yeah, just go to grandcinema.com. There's a lot of dates. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll find them all on our website. And uh, come on down. We have lots of good stuff going on. So there's one more that I want to talk about, and that's um, James Franco's film, The Disaster Artist. Is that going to be coming to the theater? No, no. Actually, 
it's the inspiration for that film. But fun, fun fact, I saw that film a few years ago when it came out. I didn't realize it's based on true events. Uh, it's about this film called The Room, which is- Yes, known, yes. Yeah, it's known as the, uh, they call it the uh, Citizen Kane of bad yes. movies. It's just ridiculous. The dialogue makes no sense. There are, uh, the sex scenes are, shall we say, ergonomically strange. And okay. there's a ridiculous amount of them. Don't give us too much more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 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 no. Uh, but we have one of the stars, Greg Sestero. He uh, came up in December, and we have these kind of crowd participation mm -hmm. screenings of the film. Yes. It's kind of like Rocky Horror Picture yes. Show. Yes. Uh, people heckle the terrible acting. They throw spoons and footballs, which are part of the story. Okay. Uh, and Greg actually calls fans down to reenact some of the scenes. I have reading. less yeah. than 10 seconds. So oh, oh, oh. I can't uh, so he's wait to on, hear this more. He's coming back on August 19th. Okay, there we That's go. That's the main thing you have to remember. All right. Uh, so meet Greg this summer. Ernest, thank you for all the research, all of the great titles you've given us, and just that love of arts that you bring. Uh, to the Grand Cinema and their wonderful summer program. And I want to see you back on the comfy couch very soon. All right. Well, thanks All right. for having me. You're more than welcome. When we do a little bit of musical chairs, we're going to have Downtown on the Go here to talk about their summer events. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.